I'm Marissa Roche, a senior at Garfield Heights High School and here at Cuyahoga Valley Career Center. Welcome to the Mayor's Report, a new information program the city plans to air quarterly on our local cable channel and link to the city's website. Mayor Vic Kaloa is here to talk about several different topics of the interest to all Garfield Heights residents and businesses. I understand there will be some badly needed repairs completed this summer. Can you talk about Turney, Rockside, and McCracken projects? I certainly can, Marissa. Uh, you are correct. We have three major road resurfacing projects scheduled over the next couple of years in Garfield Heights, uh, starting with the McCracken Road resurfacing project. Uh, that project is scheduled to start this July, and it's going to go from Broadway and Garfield Heights, and it's going to extend through Lee Road in Cleveland. Both of our communities got together, applied for some funding to get this uh, badly overneeded uh, road resurfaced. We were successful in getting that funded, and uh, that's going to take place this July. The businesses, along with Kraken Road and Neil Parkway, are going to be very pleased with this. It's uh, long overdue and, and needed very badly, yes. Yeah. The other project that uh, we have scheduled is the Rockside Road project, and that's going to be uh, beginning construction next April, next spring, and that's going to extend from uh, Broadway, Rockside Road from Broadway, and it's going to extend through to Turney Road. And that's going to be another major project. We teamed up with Bedford and Maple Heights for this funding project. We were successful in getting that, and that is going to start next uh, spring, next April. It was supposed to start this August, but the county pushed it back. Many of the residents were expecting this to start this August. They pushed it back because they wanted to complete this project, this construction, in one construction season. If they began it in August, once the bad weather hit in December, they would have to stop it. The residents would be inconvenienced because of the construction that's there. So they decided to push it back to April. It's another six months or so we have to wait, but it's going to be well worth it. Mm -hmm. uh, and then, of course, the Trinity Road project. Now, this is scheduled to start two years from now, the spring of 2000. And 14 and this is our main thoroughfare in Garfield Heights. This road has not been resurfaced since 1991. This is huge for Garfield Heights. Uh, the, the greatest thing about this is this is going to extend from Sladden Road all the way to Hathaway. It is being funded 80 percent federal funds and 20 percent county funds. It is 100 percent funded, no cost to the city. This is going to be huge for Garfield Heights. This will change the look and the complexion of Garfield Heights for a long time to come. Yeah. Um, let's talk about the many different developmental projects happening at Garfield Heights. Um, you must be thrilled about the Overdrive Company building its new headquarters on the Nestaway site. Um, tell us about that project and what it means for the city. Overdrive is really, Overdrive is really an exciting project for the city of Garfield Heights. Uh, this is a, uh, a digital media company that is planning on putting its world headquarters. They've ar already started construction. Uh, putting its world headquarters in Garfield Heights. This company is uh, going to start with about 160 to 170 employees. Uh, they plan on um, being complete with this project at the end of the summer, before the end of the year. And this is a project that originally started when they were looking for their world headquarters. They were looking at either going to Florida or Ohio. Governor Strickland was very vital in bringing them to Ohio. He did a great job bringing them here. And Garfield Heights was very fortunate about being able to get them to come to Garfield Heights. They really were looking for a location, a central location. Uh, we fit their needs, and this is great. If you have an opportunity, the residents have an opportunity to ride by the old Nestaway building on Granger Road. It's beautiful. The construction, this is going to be their world headquarters. It's going to be a state-of-the-art building. And... Uh, when most companies, I'll tell you a little bit about this company, when most companies, businesses in the last couple years, have uh, been struggling, have been struggling to stay in the black and out of the red because of the economic times, uh, actually Overdrive has had record profits the last two years. They are a great company. Uh, they go all over the world. They, they do the Kindles. They're into the uh, e-books, stuff like that. This is a great asset to the city of Garfield Heights. And uh, a good thing for the, you know, for the community is that there are higher paying jobs here mm -hmm. and the taxes that we will see from that will much help the city be able to restore some of the services that we've lost in the past. So this is a great project for the city. Yeah. Um, besides Overdrive, your city is getting a new library at the Civic Center complex. Um, a major renovation is underway at Mariner Mount Hospital. Um, let's talk about these two important projects. And, and again, these are two great projects for the city. 
the library, the existing library right now is right next to the Civic Center. It's back off of Turney Road. The new library, this is going to be demolished. Groundbreaking starts in May. I, think, I believe it's May 8th for the groundbreaking. Uh, the Cuyahoga County is putting a state-of-the-art library in. This uh, library is going to be moved up by Turney Road. It's going to be 70 feet off of Turney Road. It's going to be three times, it's 30,000 square feet, three times the size of the old library. Mm -hmm. It's going to have community rooms. It's going to have homework and study rooms. It's going to have 50 new computers over what they have now. It's going to have child, children's rooms, adults' rooms. Uh, the plans for this was really great. And again, right here in Garfield Heights, we can't thank mm -hmm. the county enough for doing something like this for the residents of Garfield Heights. Again, this is something great happening in our city. Uh, the Marymount Project, wow, the Marymount Project, $45 million investment. Uh, that, that is really something. They put a new surgical center in. It's, uh, the outside of the surgical center is complete. It is uh, being done, of course, it's Marymount Hospital, but Cleveland Clinic is the parent uh, hospital there. They have invested $45 million into the surgical center. The inside of the surgery rooms are still not finished. They're, they're completing them as we speak. Mm -hmm. But what an unbelievable sight right on McCracken Road in Garfield Heights. Yeah. And, and not only that it allows our residents to get this great treatment because they're going to have all new equipment, uh, modern equipment. It's going to be phenomenal surgery center. But think of it as people are looking for a community to move into. You know, when they're looking at Garfield Heights and they have this Cleveland Clinic, Marymount Hospital, right in their backyard, this is going to be a great tribute, a great asset, as it has in the past, but the surgical center is going to make it even that much better. And, and we couldn't be happier with Marymount. Okay. Um, I understand Garfield Mall has a new owner. Um, can you tell us about that? Yeah, I, I want to make sure we get this right. There's been a lot of talk about Garfield Mall having a new owner. We actually, there is a new owner that is going through their due diligence. And we're expecting that due diligence, diligence to be completed within the next uh, 30 to 60 days. I would say we're about 90% sure that they're going to come in. I met with the receiver of the property just this week. Uh, they're very excited about the new developer coming in. Uh, they're talking about a great renovation. They're going to do the parking lot, redo the parking lot. They're going to redo the face of the uh, shopping center. Uh, we're hoping very badly that this goes through. It looks really great, but I can't say we have them yet, but we're very close. Very good. Um, also, I hear Save-A-Lot is opening a second store on Turney Road. Um, what information can you share? Thank you. Save-A-Lot is going to move into the Old Medic Drug, and the Old Medic Drug is on the corner of Garfield Boulevard and Turney Road. Uh, they're putting $200,000 in renovations into the store. Uh, I've seen the plans. I've had an opportunity to, you know, to see what they're doing there. It's really going to be a beautiful store. It's a great asset for that side of town. We have many seniors there that can walk to uh, this discount food store, get their groceries, and walk back. This is going to be a great thing for that side of town. It's going to be a great thing for the whole city, but especially for that side of town. Of course. Um, can you update us on Bridgeview and City View projects? Yeah, I, I could tell you about as much as I know. And uh, let me start with Bridgeview. Uh, Bridgeview, so I get this, and, and most of the residents know because I speak around the community and I tell them this, we signed or I signed a, a confidentiality agreement that I couldn't tell the people, I can't say anything about what's going in there. Mm -hmm. But I could tell you that progress is working very good. The new okay. developer and the old developer are working on an agreement, working on a settlement agreement to get started. The new developer, who's a developer out of uh, California, I spoke to him as recently as last week. They expect to start construction if everything goes right next summer. And the only thing I could say is, and I mean this from the bottom of my heart with all sincerity, it will be the most exciting thing that ever happened in Garfield Heights. And I'm not saying this for any other reason, but it's true. We will have people come to this site from all over the state and maybe even outside the state. This is going to be something very special. And I'm really, I, it's killing me not to say what it's going to be, uh, but this first chance we get, when, when I'm no longer bound by that confidentiality agreement, mm -hmm. I will let everybody know, and I guarantee you everybody, and I mean everybody, will be pleased with what's about to come in there. That's going to be really great for the city. City View. Now, mm -hmm. City View has been probably uh, my biggest disappointment as mayor. Uh, I was really... Uh, I was really high on getting City View uh, back on its feet. Mm -hmm. And every time we, get, uh, we talk to a new developer and, and we get some real highs and we think things are really happening, uh, pretty soon we get a negative. Things are being held up. Uh, right now, City View has a 
developer that wants to uh, wants to come in there. It's actually the levy company. I'm not under confidentiality on this one, but it's the levy company wants to, you know, redo that shopping area, and. Um, they are trying to sit down with the uh, note holder of that property, work out a monetary agreement on you know, the cost of the property. They have not been successful in doing that yet, but the city is constantly meeting with the EPA because of the environmental issues. We meet with the uh, new developer, the levy company, and uh, we talk to the receiver, we talk to the attorneys involved. We're trying to stay very active and, and high on City View, but I can honestly say I expect, and, and you know, hopefully I'm wrong, maybe they both pop real quick, but I expect Bridgeview to, to really come about uh, before City View. I know the um, city offers a variety of recreational opportunities throughout the summer and what each ward will have will have its own day to enjoy the facility. Um, how do people find out about these details? Well, that's a good question. Let me say that our rec department, uh, our swimming pool is probably our most successful recreation uh, offer to the residents. Every summer we have a full house. Everybody loves to swim. We have a beautiful pool. It's been there a long time, but it's, mm -hmm. it's a large pool that accommodates adults, it accommodates children, it accommodates infants. We accommodate it all. It's a great place and people love to come there. Mm -hmm. And uh, I was at a meeting uh, probably about a month or so ago, and after I gave a, uh, a talk, much like what I'm talking about today, she came up to me and she said, you know, Mayor, w w you ask us to, to uh, do all these things and be patient and all this, but there's nothing you really offer to the residents, you know, a little something to show some appreciation. Mm -hmm. And we thought about that, my staff and I thought about that, and we decided to have an appreciation day with the pool. And um, what we're doing is, is each ward, there's seven wards, each ward will have one day where there, everybody in the ward can come to the rec center free, and uh, each council member will have a little something there for the ward people that show up. It, they will come at one o'clock in the afternoon, and I believe it closes, don't quote me, but I think it closes at uh, seven, uh, mm -hmm. seven, I think it's seven o'clock. And that's gonna be free to the people and their families to come on those days. And if you call the rec department, uh, and the rec department is uh, 475 1100 and ask for the rec department. I think that you can, uh, they will be able to tell you what the schedule is because each ward uh, selected out of a hat what day uh, their appreciation day would be. But it's a small way of the staff or the administration saying thank you uh, and I hope that people take advantage of it because it's going to be a great time for everybody. Yes, all these upcoming projects sound great. Um, well, thank you for joining us. If you have any questions, you can contact Garfield Heights City Hall at 216-475-1100 or the Garfield Heights Helpline at 216-475-1199 or you can send an email to info at garfieldhts.org. Have a great day.